himself as a colored boy or colored woman in this country, whether that's African American or black or whatever you call yourself, if you grew up into this culture of rap. Now, now prior to the blues, uh, and the R&B and all that, but man, if you grew up in this, in this, in this hip hop culture, as right. they call it, right, uh, right, and right, you embrace right. the culture, the terminology is say, bitch, uh, say, man, I uh, know, but you know, you know, I can dig it. I know where you're coming yeah, from. Yeah. And so, but as, 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 as two, as two black men, uh, who who want to have a successful radio show? Right, right, uh, right, right. And, and, and who want to expand? I, yeah, you know when uh, you're doing that type of stuff, like you got you got the shock jocks. I'm pretty sure Howard Stern and them could say it all day long or whatever. But I guess you guys like a levels. You gotta prove that you can get along. I guess you know and be a little respectful so you can get up so far. Then when you get there, then you can do what you want to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're we're, we're gonna try to. Uh, they won't try to get that together. Oh man, we're, we're gonna on, try man. to sense ourselves uh, uh, as much as possible, right? Uh, so so we can please and appease man our female listeners who may be offended uh, by the word bitch. And trust me, ladies, uh, we don't mean to call yeah, all women like bitches. that. And then I, I think sometimes it's good to explain that because a lot, a lot of women they don't understand when you're saying it. They don't understand how you using it really. So yeah. it's good to get a good understanding. So anybody who listen to check out the show. Well, so they'll know where we're coming from. Yeah. But, and, and, but check this side, man. I want to change the motherfucking subject right quick one time, man. About this motherfucking young bull, man. Who is that? Man motherfucking down. Earl Spence, man. Oh, Earl Spence. Yeah, man. My man, man. Say he want to talk about Earl Spence. Man. Hey, man. That's what I want to change, Gary, to talk about this motherfucking Earl, Earl Spence, Spence, man. Like, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it to a motherfucker real live and real raw, man. You know, I've been fucking with this Dallas and this little old entertainment scene or whatever. Motherfucker. I know all kind of people that try to do a lot of things, man. But this youngster is doing he his the thing. Truth, he the man. truth, man. I love it. Jerry he, Jones hey, put hey, his hey. arms around him. He's so, he so humble with it, too. You know when you see a sucker, man. Yeah. You know, and then him, not even him, even the other youngster, I'm going to give it up, the, the yellow busy youngster. When he brought him out, man, man, that was so nice, man. That was so beautiful, man. I was yeah, like, yeah, man, that was a beautiful thing. Hey, man, man, that was a good look. I liked that. I liked the, I liked the little unity, you know. Say, I, man, and like, uh, a good uh, example. Show some say, cats how to move, uh, man. Say, man, I got a real player partner. Uh, out that, uh, up out there, funk man. I ain't gonna say his name. Cause right. He's a real private nigga, right? Right, right, uh, right. But Twisted sure. Black, Twisted Black used to rap about the nigga all the motherfucking time. Okay, man. okay, okay. Uh, when niggas say he went out there and just checked out the scenery, right? Right, right. And I'm right, gonna make right. a lot of niggas mad when I say go this, go man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Say, man, but my niggas say you can tell the difference between a Dallas and a Fort Worth nigga, man. <laughs> Why you say my that? My niggas say that them, them Dallas niggas were looking like real rappers. Them niggas jewelry game and them clothes game, man. He said if a nigga had on a Gucci oh, hat, he had. On oh. the Gucci shoe. Nah, them niggas came out. Hey, out say, he said, them say, but them Fort Worth niggas, man, were looking like some nah, niggas. Say, this, this is say, players, say man. man, you stay out of this, man. Say, you a Dallas <laughs> nigga, you stay out of this, man. That nigga told me to stay out of it, man. You stay out, you stay out of this right now, man. Say, man, my nigga say, uh, Earl Spence brought out the who's who of the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, man. And my nigga, real player nigga, and everybody in the city know him, man. And the nigga, uh, uh, opinion is highly respected and highly credible, man. And he say, man, uh, Fort Worth, we gotta catch up and speed up, man. We behind. He say, them Dallas niggas killing us with that jewelry game. Say, them nigga clothes game, they whole game. Everything was killing us, man. He say, we need to stay out them, boy. He said, matter of fact, his exact words and say, man, I've been trying to figure out why these Fort Worth niggas don't like these Dallas niggas, man. I went out there and I see why, man. Them niggas killing us. And man, we, man, them niggas killing us, man. So, uh, with that being said, man, uh, man, uh, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> it's man, man salute to the Dallas it's niggas, man. Nah, uh, though, man. Yeah, real hey, shit. Man, uh, uh, not only that night, that wasn't the only first round knockout now from a Dallas cat. That same night, uh, Maurice, uh, damn, what's his last name? Another little cat fighting out of Dallas, out of Oak Cliff. Yeah. He, he knocked him a cat out in the first round, too. Yeah, I couldn't afford yeah. to go, man. I yeah, but, about, man, I but like, 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 I, I like I like when people come together on good stuff like that, man. Everybody act like they had some sense. It was it was a real nice event, man, for real. He, yeah. 
And I, I can see this cat going real far, man, for real. I can see him yeah, going man, real far shout, with this, shout man. Shout out to that boy Earl yeah, Spence. Yeah, man, shout man. out to Earl Spence, uh, man. Uh, and, uh, any nigga with a big head like him, he bound to know how to fight, man. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I done went and signed my son up for UFC fight, man. Get him oh, ready yeah. for his freshman right, year right, in right, high school. Right, right, right. Uh, okay. And I think I might start UFC fight, man. So, be on the lookout uh, for my first UFC fight match in the next coming uh, six months to a year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get in the octagon. Uh, 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 y'all, myself. y'all hear that, man? My boy say he gonna do this, uh, yeah, do yeah. this UFC fighting. Yeah. He gonna get an octagon. Yeah, gonna get up, let him check out them guns one time. Uh, Show him what uh, you are working uh, with. No, nigga. Uh, yeah, yeah. My I'm, nigga I'm, do this, the UFC I'm, fighting. I'm, I'm creating the first UFC fighting for uh for for the Olympic handicap. Uh, <laughs> that nigga heard crap. Uh, nigga, uh, they they got a they got a special Olympic. <laughs> that nigga say special. They got a special. <laughs> Nah, I thought you gonna get niggas in your same weight class. Say, man, you know nigga, they do that. I only got one eye, nigga. I gotta be matched up. Shit, as long as y'all got the same weight man, class, that don't man, mean nothing. Man. I seen a nigga out there in the UFC. Nigga got a nub. I'm well, going well, right there. Well, I fight that nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ain't fighting no nigga in the UFC with two eyes. He got to have one arm or man, one leg. And the man, man Black, this man crazy. Yeah. Man, he gonna fight the man with the one arm. On the one leg. <laughs> this dude yeah, on the one man. leg, nigga. We got to be matched up perfectly. Uh, but yeah, man. And nah, shout no, out, man. Watch this though, man. And then too, just some some funny though. And I'm gonna chunk this out there in case uh some of the young ladies who. Happen to uh dance for a living, man. Man, something is not right, man. Dallas, Fort Worth area, all this shit is too much money flowing for dancers. Barely can't get money and shit. Like it ain't the same no more, man. Like something ain't right. I don't know what's going on, but my uh remedy for this is, man. Whoever y'all little entertainers is, man, support them, man. Come out to the club. Turn up for them like you do for everybody else, man. Because when you got your own homegrown, man, it ain't nothing like that, man. That's one thing I love about Houston, man. When you go, it's somebody always doing something. It's always somewhere to go. Say, Daytime, man, well, nighttime, man. Well, you know, I, I ain't really, I ain't really into the into the entertainment scene no more, man. But from right, what right, I right, heard, right, right, right. Uh, it's fucked up promoters. So, so that's the fake, that, that, so, that's, so that's, the what fake. I, that's what I'm kind of chopping yeah, it up to. Yeah, yeah, the fake, yeah, the fake and the confidence and, and coming out like Lil Boosie was supposed to have been at uh, uh one of the clubs, the old Chrome and Fort Worth, right? But they didn't have no prices. Up until, you know, the time trying to see, and it wasn't no big turnout, man. Right, right, uh, right, right, right. So, you know, from. That's the way they doing. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, man. Uh, but man, now, though, man, it, like, 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 people don't understand. Kelly that, Clarkson. Like, the money them, flow. Kelly Clarkson, them fans hey, don't have them. Hey, man, problem, they give man. you a key to the city, man. Yeah. For real. Yeah, they give that boy DeRoe a key to the city. Like, that, man. Not, like, 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 we need that, man. And then I don't care who it is, I don't care what neighborhood you're from or. What corner you crowd out of, man? Shit. Do your thing. Get some people to support you. Get you some fans, man. Right. Make that money flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Well. For real. Uh, make that money flow, man. Yeah, well, uh, we these niggas and open the scenes and, and the doors up on the on the entertainment scene around. Right, here. right, right. Like, uh, like, it's crazy. It's just how white shit folks be, don't want to get them little no hit and misses, man. I think I think I think it's gonna be for real this time, man. You think it's gonna be for real? It's gonna be for real this you time. Think it, it's so many. It's so many. Yeah. And now him too, I, right now, shit. That cat man, that, come on, man. I seen on the uh on the billboard, man, top forty, man. Hey Mo, you when you're on the billboards independent, you gotta understand. That's like you uh you, you competing with the majors. But you doing it from your little office or your little corner, man. Like that's that's really some major shit, man. Say, so, man, I'm keep going, yeah. That's some major shit though. So, you know, you wanna see stuff like that, man. You want all that happening because all that shit create other jobs, other uh uh opportunities for other people. It's, it's a lot of money out there to get that they need to bring to this DLW area, man. For yeah, real. Yeah, we can use it, man. Uh, and I know y'all uh, For real. I know y'all laugh. Unlucky. Y'all laugh and high side a whole bunch when a nigga get on her with that live shit. Uh, and I told y'all about the job I got fired from. I showed up clean to work one day. Uh, but I went and fired on OSHA on them motherfucking ass. They and fired I, you. Uh, they wrongfully terminated me. For what? Uh, well, uh, I was screaming about uh, un- unsafe work practices <laughs> uh, at day two. So listen, peep game, right? Uh, they hey, they, uh, uh, they wrongfully they wrongfully terminated me. 
Uh, and so I went to hey, OSHA and, and, and I filed me uh, 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 I filed uh, me a, a, a whistleblower case right uh, right uh, right up under the whistleblower okay act. okay uh, and the job made a nice nice settlement right, offer to me there. so uh, all I one day uh, matter of fact next Monday that's what we're gonna talk Farrah. about is employment rights no I got child. a call I got a call from my attorney on Monday uh, on Friday and and the job. Call OSHA and they have made a nice offering to me that I'm right. gonna take. Right, uh, right, so, right. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, so, man, if you didn't document it, right, it didn't happen. Okay. So, documentations beats presentations. So, if you're unhappy and, and and you feel like you're being mistreated at work, man, start taking notes and, and, and document times, man. I'm telling you, and, 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 that shit really works. Another for you is. A well-organized lie beats an unorganized truth. <laughs> <laughs> Say, but we finna switch the subject, man. Yeah, I got man. quite a few things I want to talk about Jump tomorrow. Jump in, what's uh, happening, man? Tomorrow, nigga day, uh, June 19th. June 10th. Hey, uh, hey, man, uh, watch man, this. I don't, I don't even know if black people still celebrate this, nigga day, this. man. I tell, call it nigga day. I'm going to tell you the funnest one. Like, Only day of nigga like, day. Like studying the June 10th shit, man, the funnest thing that fucked me up about it when I found out about it. Yeah. Like, how everybody, how, how many years was it? Everybody two was years, free man, before Texas was, even found out years. that they was free. Two years. Say, man, what kind of... The, so y'all don't think they still fucking over us in Texas? Say. <laughs> if, if the rest of the world was free in Texas, we were still slaves for two years longer than everybody else, man. Y'all don't think they still fucking over us, man. Hey, man, you know they is, but listen, check this out, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Most of the country don't even know by Juneteenth. Most nah, of the country don't even have a clue about this. They don't even care. It's, it's a lot of that man. shit. That was on Fourth of July, none of this nah. shit. You go up north, they don't know nothing about that shit. And if you ask black children about Juneteenth, they can't tell you about them niggas came through gas. Watermelon and, Day. Man, well, yeah, but listen, when we was kids, right? Uh, Juneteenth was like the Fourth of July. Man, nigga got new outfits, new shit. Yeah, man, yeah. It was it's another real. reason to spend some money. You ain't caught on to it, man. Well, you know it's all it's in all a capitalist also. country, man. But then uh, you like uh, you, uh, uh, but, capitalism. But, Hey, man, uh, watch this. Uh, you know uh, how you do the slaves. You, you let the slaves have a little party, man. You know what I'm saying? You let, you let the slaves have a little party. Well, and that's uh, all, you know, that's all it is. But, you know, I ain't going to lie. I've been uh, celebrating and, and participating in the activities all this motherfucking time. I might as well not stop yet. Well, uh, man. Now, I can deal with the Juneteenth now. If it was Christmas or some shit, but I can deal with well, that. Well, I understand June, they, mean, uh, they, they, they mean well. Well, well, Juneteenth is the actual day. Right. Uh, uh, niggas, niggas stormed up on Galveston Beach, and then right. niggas said, Say, man, yeah, what y'all niggas doing? <laughs> <laughs> they say, man, nigga, what you talking about? Say, man, niggas is free. Right. Say, man, nigga, nigga. Now y'all free. Nigga don't come down here. Nigga probably, nigga probably killed that nigga. The nigga, first nigga. Nigga, nigga, what y'all free for real? Man, niggas is free. So we found out on accident. Man, the nigga stormed up on Galveston Beach, oh, ran up on a few niggas and say, man, niggas is free. And then nigga say, man, nigga, you lying. And, and, and it was probably, it was 60 days of niggas coming through saying, niggas, y'all free. And them niggas saying, boss, is we free? And boss said, no, nah, I hadn't nah, got nah. the word. <laughs> yeah, boss. Dirty and, motherfuckers, and, and, man. And, and so now boss still telling them niggas, oh, uh, 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 every morning, uh, uh, yeah, I Time ain't got go the word. word. Yeah, I ain't got the word. That's fucked up though, man. That, that's crazy though. Why, why, why? They didn't teach that in school. Teach us that they, they kept, they kept Texas in slavery two years uh, long. Man, it wasn't, else. It, it wasn't, what, it wasn't that long ago. They just made it a holiday here, man. But ain't no banks closed. They ain't, nah, they ain't closed. It ain't, no, it ain't, it ain't no, federal. no federal holiday. Nah, nah. So yeah, we gave you niggas a day to barbecue, uh, uh, and cook watermelon. We're gonna you, take it. And you better not take yeah. off of work. We're going to take it. And you better not take off for work, nigga. They're going to take off for July, Keep, man, July 4th. Man, you, well, we going to give y'all, because that's our day. <laughs> we going to give you all, and we going to pay you for that day. But that Juneteenth holiday, yeah, man, if too many of you man. niggas call in for work, you niggas will be without a job. We're going to play some hell of a game on a nigga, yeah. man, for real. Yeah, no. and you better not stay up too late on your nigga day celebrating, drinking, uh, 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 drinking the mind altering substance, eating yeah. them, new, eating that new watermelon with them seedless. 
this motherfucking watermelons you go eat. Niggas don't. Nah, you don't you got to go to Kroger to find the seed seed watermelon. You niggas eating that GMO watermelon with no seed. Hey in. man, niggas gonna get out that barbecue pit. Then the go eat that watermelon. They soda and whatever well, else. What kind man, of like soda they gonna drink? Big Shit, red. It's gonna be some red in there. It's gonna be big red soda. It's gonna be some red. If they fancy, they might have a little Dr Pepper, yeah. some brown, a little in Sprite. Somewhere? If they got Sprite and Seven Up. They do got good. money, man. If they got, <laughs> oh, no, nah, you got Sprite and Seven Up, or you got Dr Pepper and Pepsi. You got two brown sodas. Then go, motherfucker. Go, motherfucker have barbecue and they got Tahitian treat and Big Red. Nigga, you gonna say yeah, them niggas had a yeah. bad motherfucker, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a badass cookout, man. Nah, yeah. for real. Yeah, man. Yeah, they, man. Look, wait. They better not have three red sodas or Fanta. <laughs> Tahitian treat and Big Red, man, gonna fuck you up. You yeah, might not even uh, leave. Uh, motherfuckers ain't even gonna drink them all. They go leave half soda <laughs> filled because they go think they're in hall heaven. They go think the people got money. Yeah, you know, you know how niggas like do, that. man. For and, real. Yeah, and it's gonna be a killing tomorrow. I, 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 I predict. Uh, 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 forecast. Man, that's hope uh, name, man. Between Dallas and Fort Worth. Man, you know, you know, uh, you know, you know, you know some something that's funny, man. That, uh, some niggas killing niggas. You know some niggas. funny shit about, about, about the game, man. What's that, man? And, 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 and I bet you they could ask any motherfucking me police officer in the world, man. If y'all keep y'all motherfucking ass out there, motherfucking eyesights, they'll probably let y'all do what the fuck y'all want to do. If niggas quit trying to be seen shooting guns and I, it's like to me, motherfuckers make the police have to come fuck with them. Real shit. Like it's like Real it ain't it like 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 when I when, like I'm I, I'm I'm retired now. I'm not involved in no type of shit like that. You know, yeah. I'm I'm an adult now, grown man or whatever y'all want to call me. But when I was young and I got introduced to the little hustle life or to the game, man, you was it was it was like some secrecy shit. Yeah. It was behind the scene. You didn't want everybody to know. It wasn't because you were scared of them. It just wasn't their business. Yeah. You didn't want nobody to, to 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 fuck with you or know what you was doing other than the motherfuckers you, you spent money with or the one that spent money with you. Yeah. It wasn't nobody else's business. Your little bitch might not even know how. I mean, your woman might even know how you yeah. make your money. Yeah. I should know you get up and leave and come back with some money. It's like, I don't know. I guess because the shit been around so long. It get more watered down because everybody wasn't doing it. Now everybody, grandmamas, and this fucked up when the game been around so long. When your grandmama was the look cool yeah. chick on the block or whatever, probably yeah. used to start doing a little hustle because she was from that environment of that hood. Same thing with the granddad or whatever. They grew up in that environment when they was young, probably seventeen, eighteen. They grew up in that shit, but now this shit is still in y'all community till. Your grandmama, she old. Yeah, it's the she, same, yeah, she the same bullshit that's still getting played. It's yeah, still yeah. plaguing the hood, plaguing the little community, man. For real, that's just some, that's just some shit to make y'all think about, you know? Yeah, man. So shout out to everybody that even taking the time, man, to celebrate the spirit of them ancestors, man. Right, uh, right, uh, right, it, right, right. It ain't that our people and then, are slow and, and then, dumb, watch man. this. Don't just uh, celebrate just the just shit, man. Go, calm, go, man. Go, go, go do some research and learn about the shit. Don't just be celebrating these people's shit. And not know what you celebrate. Say, man, and, and, and then, uh, you know, one of the greatest things about the African people uh, is that the African people wasn't wouldn't, wouldn't literature. Uh, uh, literature, uh, you know, comes from European, right? Uh, man, we was, we was oral, oral historians, right? Uh, they right, they, they, right, they used right, to call right, it right. griots. The oral tradition. Yeah, yeah, griots. G-R-I-O-T, right? Griots. They was oral historians, meaning the elders in the village. Uh, held all the, the knowledge and the wisdom and the history in their mind. And, 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 and throughout times and throughout your life and throughout your ages, man, you sat amongst those elders and they told you stories. They told you, uh, they, they, they orally told you, man. Uh, and, and it was passed down, uh, so it couldn't be destroyed. Right, right, uh, right. Things right, that's right, in right. books can be, be destroyed, gotta be published, gotta be copywritten. Uh, but man, when you know your family history, when y'all go to the family reunion and, and, and y'all can orally talk about what granddaddy had and, and, and how he got there and, you know. Right, right. Yeah. And go back as far as yeah, you can, man. Yeah. Like, like, so, look, uh, look your people up and go back as far as yeah. you can. Go talk to your grandmama, granddaddy, whoever. And if, ain't was a, and if you was a ass. host and your grandmama and your mama was a host. <laughs> right, hey, man, where that come from? Man. Families got that uh, 
that uh I forgot what the my name great, great had grandma, before. My great grandmama was a slave and she was a whore and a bootlegger. Right. But right. we got but we got almost a hundred acres of land out there in, in East Texas right. that, that she inherited from the White Sloan <laughs> plantation because she sold good pussy. So you're saying like tell but also you're saying tell the let 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 the family know that you might got a a aunt or an uncle in the family that might not be right. You know yeah, that. It, it, like it you, have a, you might have a pervert or you yeah. might have one of those. Remember molesting everybody through you the might, family. You might have one of those females in the family who's hot in the pants. Everybody got an uncle who been molesting and, and, everybody and she, that she, ain't nobody told. That she ain't everybody, got no, yeah. Like, don't hide that from them kids. Yeah, you let got them an know. Uncle, you got an uncle that's fuck Uncle Willie. Right, let them kids yeah. know you, you can't go over his house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got an uncle, you got an auntie that dance at the tip top. That and, Uncle and, and Willie, all that type of shit. You can't be doing that when home. you, just because you want to go to the club mm -hmm. and hang out like you gotta be careful who you let leave your kids yeah. with, man. Matter of fact, matter of fact, family members matter of fact, all. I saw a post of a woman uh, bashing this nigga who was a family friend who right. saw the daughter who was of age out at the club and tried to buy right. some of that young pussy. Right, right, man. That's hey, gonna happen. let you let you, let them young girls know you got some uncles and you got some family friends that soon as them gals go out in them club and run into uncle the family who mama was fucking. But a lot of times, yeah, lot of times, man, lot of times, some of that. That. Some of that tough talk you have, sometimes you got to go and have it with them kids, man. Go and get out the way. Sometimes you got to go and ask them hard, fucked up questions because yeah. them niggas in them, uh, in them tramps in the streets going to ask them. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 for, and for them women that... You got to uh, equip them, man. Uh, it, 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 you know, during them young days when you like to go out and party and, le and all y'all leave right, the kids right, over right. there with the 16-year-old with kid and, and it's a 9-year-old nigga... Around her like how I was hunting and getting booty with every little girl who who done been left over at our house. Nah, uh, a lot of time. Uh, that, 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 uh, that, 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 that's some real, 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 real talk, man. We create that culture, man. You got to be careful what you expose your children to, man. That's just some real shit. Like a lot of time, and then sometimes you got to explain it to them because really, like now today's kids, like I say, you can have a little baby born today. Before this baby one years old, he gonna have an iPhone master. <laughs> yeah. You put a laptop in front of him, he gonna have it mastered. So the shit they dealing with the cut, the where they coming from, they understand the life is a little different than I understand man, the life was uh, when we was kids. Man, let me tell you, this, these hey, kids uh, know a lot more than we know. Uh, Look, watch this. So we coming from our antique frame of mind with them birds and bees, all this shit. They looking at us like. Say man, like uh, that, my parents slow. They cause we trying to sugarcoat shit, man. The kids hey, know man, what's listen. going on, man. My son told right. my son told me the different strands of weed and what they do. Right. Google and research. Right, Google right. and research, right? Man, uh, man check everything at their fingertips. Hey, hey, they know hey, about listen, everything. Hey, Kimbo, I was just about to say that, man. We used to have to you. We used to have to chase the devil. Right, he right, wasn't right. just we had to go look for it. We right. had to go look for it. But right now today, uh, the devil is at the kids', That's fingertips. kids fingertips. Whatever they think of in their head, it's like snapping their fingers. Boom! Let me Google it. They if Google they want to say, let me, let me see That's what, or uh, let me see what a calm shot is. They, they type it Google in their phone. It. If they want, man, we used to have to look through Granddaddy. Yeah, go find, hook, find some of the old movies. Yeah, we used to have to go find the movies <laughs> in the top of the closet. Uh, but today's kids got them at their fingertips, and we can't govern it. Right, we right, can't right. govern it. Oh right. man, but, 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 they got a friend. This is the funny part, though. No, this is so weird to me, man. Like, okay, over here, we understand a woman walking around with her breasts out or whatever, exposing her butt. Oh my, that's unholy or that's not right or that's ungodly, whatever they want to say. Yeah. But you go on the other side of the world or in France somewhere where they walk around with their breasts out and ain't nobody current. Or you could be somewhere in Africa where they walk around naked and ain't nobody raping nobody. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it, it's what you put on it. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it could be where everybody could walk around naked around here and didn't nobody touch nobody. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, I'm saying it could be like that, but it's not gonna be because yeah. our minds have been taught that it's so yeah. taboo we that oh, if you see a woman naked, you're supposed to act a certain way. You're yeah. supposed to say act same way she act when she got her clothes on. It's Give her the same respect. Like don't it's it's so messed up, man. To me, the man, thinking uh, process. Well, well it, wait, wait. They try to demonize uh, sex. Hey, man, that's how you use reproduction. They try to demonize everything, make everything look like. It's a bad thing. It's an evil thing. Like, how you gonna teach somebody that their body 
It's a bad thing. Well, it's supposed to be a beautiful uh, thing. Well, well, unless you built bad, you know uh, what I'm saying? What, what Western culture, embracing Western culture, Western civilization right, 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 has right. taken us out of our nature. Being naked, being naked is nature. Uh, 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 sex and, and, and procreation, uh, that's nature, right? But like, if uh, you if you got to teach a person, a child that. Uh, we are okay, well, you can't, you can't do this, you can't do that. They're going to look at you this way, that way. Once you instill, instill all that in them, even though you're trying to teach them to have respect for themselves, yeah. but at the same time, you're not even teaching them how to express themselves to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? Man, you, the you, human... The, the, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Uh, the... The, the human species is no longer in tune with its nature. Not, no, not, not, nature. At, all. not uh, at all. Everything you talking about and describing, it, it has to do with us being in tune with nature. Exactly. Uh, putting they don't clothes, care about nature. Now. Uh, they don't putting want, no clothes like, without nature. don't care about that no more. No. Well, I, I heard a study uh, the other day, uh, last week sometime. It says 93% of Americans spend mm. their time indoors or in a car. Being told, being no, told, spend, told what they to spend ninety-three percent of their time right. indoors in the car. They're not outside in nature. To me, most people don't even think. They just they've been told told what to think. Like they going somewhere. Like a lot of people won't pick up the book in a certain field. They'll go to somebody to teach them about it versus learning on their own or. Or, or like a lot of people just say, a lot of people go to church, but they never sit down and read the Bible by themselves. Yeah. They'll go and take what the preachers say or whatever. If you think, or, if you think or, about uh, 93% of your time spent indoors or in the car, uh, you you, you, missing, you, you, you being taught. On the you watching television you're when you're Right, you right, home. right. You been, uh, I said you been taught what yeah, the thing. Yeah, you That's being taught. You being programmed. Like, I, don't think, I don't think, most, I think most people are afraid to think outside the box because... You'll start to hold yourself responsible for what you're doing, and you won't be able to say, "Oh, the devil made me do it." Uh, I got this because God wanted me to have it. Man, a lot of people don't want to hold themselves responsible all for themselves. All, all of us believe in a heaven because somebody told us there was a right, heaven. None right. of us research. It all we, it all exists because somebody all, told us. All of us believe in a God because somebody told right, us right. that there was a God. I so, agree. Um, everything that we think, everything right. that we eat. It, man, it was handed to us. But, but it's like if you think outside the box, they they all say uh, you insane or you yeah, crazy. Mm -hmm. But it's crazy yeah. though because I wake up the same way they wake up. I I, I got the same DNA makeup or whatever, the same uh, minerals in my body. I made up the same yeah. thing they made of. Yeah, we just got different thoughts and different well, outlooks as a way to look well, at this shit. Well, thought of eating pussy with her on it. Man, was thinking outside dog, the man, box. Man, what is it? What man, <laughs> they were thinking outside the box. Man, how do we get man, the, first nigga, the first nigga thought about going down there on some pussy with some hair on it. He was thinking, he was thinking outside, outside the box. box. Yeah. Why? Why? Explain that to uh, me. Explain that to me. Oh uh, man. Uh, cause every time I done suck some pussy with some hair in it, I got hair in my throat, and it's a very uncomfortable feeling. Uh, and, and what man in his mind made in his logical mind made it say, man, let's go eat that. At all things. But you know what? You you was just talking about it. He you was got the connection. He outside the box. No. What? Nature. He was nature. Nature made him go eat He that. was doing what he seen the animals do. So what? Think about it. You so right, boy. I'm telling you, nigga. I'm part boy, genius. You so right. I'm part, I'm, I'm part damn fool, part genius. So I'm where telling you. where did Kevin Gates shit come from? Kevin Gates, he, he, he wasn't watching no animals. He was watching them punks do that or something. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry. I'll take that back. Oh, Lord. Oh. <laughs> LGBT <laughs> community, God, I'm sorry. Say, man, we still trying to polish. That, that was that was an accident. But no, like no, I he like the old race. Man, you, you but, 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 you, but you know, you have you have cats that think he ain't the only one say that, and I'm pretty sure he ain't the only one that do it. But a lot of people feel like you know, uh, let me go ahead and put it out there. Because other people probably doing and they never said it. So yeah. to them, that's what it's being real. That's uh, him being his, what he called real. You know what I'm saying? Say, man, I don't I, knock uh, him. Uh, that's man, his I thing. Wanna, I, I want to switch go ahead. the topic. To go ahead. Go ahead. It's on you. It's on you. Uh, to some real deep go ahead. dark right now. Okay. Uh, Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump, immigration policy, and the children being separated from hey, the Hey, man, the don't you hold on. Let me turn this around and right the quick. children being separated Hey, man, from don't you know, though, y'all check this out. I did not know this, man. Of course, y'all know. I'm they got them in Grove. cages, everything. Hey, Pleasant Grove is black and brown, man. And I got a lot of, you know, Mexican homeboys or whatever. El Salvadoran all through there. But watch this. Man, this shit really been going on. I did not know. 
that they've been pulling them over and sending them back to Mexico. Yeah, snatching them up on the street. I, I, I didn't know it was going on like that, man. Yeah. That was like a motherfucker. Man, she with gold teeth and they mouth can't. Yeah, been here yeah, all their life, man. man they a, lot, mama lot of my, a lot of my Mexican partners that got hemmed up, like, they don't even, they didn't know. And then they, they didn't know they got that deep. Yeah. So they get them and they hold them and whatever, if, if shit ain't right. Yeah. They send your ass back to Mexico or if your shit right, they yeah, let you come back. But it might be six months. But I forgot they, they was telling me the reasons why they had, and they broke it down to me, but I forgot, man. But man, it's fucked up right now, man. They, 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 they well, that's fucked up uh, on their little situation. I don't know, man. That's, that is, that's a hard, uh, man, uh, yeah, that, man. That, we have to do a whole show on yeah, that man, shit, man. Uh, uh, man, it's, it, it's sad. Uh, right. all the news reports now, man, they got kids in cages. Uh, damn. But, but, and, and, and as sad as it is, and man, I got some Mexican people. I love them to death. Uh, Donald Trump wrong, this country wrong, and they go pay for what they doing uh, right now to those children. But man, when I look at that, all I could think about is that nigga. What that nigga went through. See, yeah, what they doing to the Mexican is bad. But at least the Mexican mamas. And the Mexican at kids, at, at, at least they know where 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 they kids at, and they gonna be sent back into their country. Right, 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 right. right but that right, nigga, right. I ain't talking about no hip hop nigga. I'm talking about that slave, that nigga, N I G G E R. When they separated that nigga from they baby, they didn't they see him no more. Same language, they same culture. They ain't, man, listen, they ain't see him no more, man. They they sold a nigga. That way they sold the baby that way. They sold the baby boy that way. They sold the nigga daddy that way. And but one and thing, they ain't one never thing I can say about one thing I can say about Trump, man. When he say some shit, man, he be for real. Yeah, man. But listen, check this out, man. So 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 yeah, we got compassion for what they doing uh to our Mexican brothers, man. But think about what they done to our ancestors, man. Some of us have remixed our bloodline, man, because they split us up. Right, Some right, niggas right. went back and slept with their sisters and didn't even know they were sleeping with their sisters. They must Some they niggas did. come back and slept with their moms and didn't even know they were sleeping with their moms. How do they even think the uh the, the African town of Liberia was even formed? That's how Liberia was formed when they uh stopped slavery over here. They sent uh, I forgot the exact, exact amount, but they sent a lot of slaves back to Africa, and I forgot what the, the name wasn't even Liberia. They gave it mm -hmm. that name, and they sent them back over there. So we done been through this too, but people you know don't know how quickly people forget. Yeah, man, but like that ain't saying like this. The crazy part, if we say Black Lives Matter, they gonna say White Lives Matter, bro. Everything, whatever we say, it's always it's gonna be a top about that. We can show compassion and love for somebody and then start speaking about us. If all of a sudden it's like, oh, y'all don't care about the, Why does bringing our struggle got to be in a conflict with everybody else's struggle? Everybody get they just do. Everybody can speak up. Hey, man, I guarantee you if they have a rally right now, downtown Dallas, Fort Worth or whatever, for my Hispanic brothers... It's going to be so many black people out there with them yeah. showing love, yeah. riding hard for them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But let's keep it real. When it's the other way around. They ain't going to be out there. Some, because it, 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 it's always been well, like that. that. We love everybody uh, and everything, man. That, man. That, that's why I'm but you ain't nobody standing up that, for us. Uh, that's, that's why I'm speaking on what I'm speaking on. Right, man, right, man. right, uh, right. Yeah, yeah man, they, man, they got paperwork. They got paperwork. On okay, uh, little 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 Jose Rodriguez go right. get back with 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 Susie Rodriguez when they get back to Mexico. But right. man, that nigga, that black nigga slave, when that baby separated from them, man, they didn't get to see him no more. They That's, sold him one way, you, that way, that, and they true, never true, got true, to true, see true. him never no again, more. Never again. So when you thinking about that and you seeing all this on CNN, man, you look at your black baby, you right. kiss your black baby. Uh, you look at your mama, you look at all your friends, your black friends on Facebook, and man, you think, man, we next. But the weirdest thing about the, the well, Did you hear me? Nigga, we that. next. Which, where are we gonna go? Where are they gonna send us so, to? Well, here it is, right? Uh, with gentrification coming to the inner cities, man, they right, first right. start displacing niggas out into them rural areas. All okay, you they, section they, eight, they, they did uh, that before. Uh, well, they now nah, they doing it now in Fort Worth. They, nah, they, they come with a new way to do tell, Dallas I'm, too. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, they just can't get when, with when it. When it's your court, when it's your court, when it's your court, you play your yeah. ball. Yeah, this how you do. Okay, you'll you'll come in, you'll come and tell 
You give me some some apartments in Fort Worth, anybody for uh, Pleasant Grove. Hey, we finna come take this project and we finna renovate it, redo it. They thinking they making it better. No. They know what they doing. They getting rid of who they want to get rid of. Yeah. Some of y'all might get back in there, but it's going to be a whole yeah. different rules and regulations. Of, rest of y'all going to Frisco. Right, right. They'll do that because at first, a couple of years back when I was young, I remember they was giving downtown up and they was letting, like kind of letting motherfuckers have that area right there because they want to be out in the suburbs. Now, it's it changed. Now they want downtown, back downtown, baby, downtown because yeah. they build a downtown the area with the high rise out there, making it look, looking at, making yeah. it look brand new. The millennials so don't grow up. Back. But how you don't get caught up in that is elect me to be your alderman and I. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we out here. We'll see y'all next Monday. We got no alderman down. Game applied means elevation. Hey man, appreciate y'all coming through, man. Peace out. Of course, the alderman day.